Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to customize your web design to change the look and feel of your website. Log into your AppyPy account and go to the website features section. Click the design customization tab and you'll be redirected to the customization page. Now scroll down to the edit website layout section and here you will see the different layouts ranging from classic, matrix, 3D slate, crayon, stack, polaroid, image grid, and a lot more. You can pick any of the layouts which you want to set for your website. Hover over the layout and click on preview to view how your website layout looks like. Similarly, you can preview other layouts and pick the one that suits your needs. Once you selected your website layout, you can check out the layout for the mobile view of your website as well. Under mobile view, you will see the matrix, responsive, and list types. Select the one as per your requirement. For now, let's select the list type. You can even customize the layout settings by clicking the cogwheel icon here. If you want to hide the background in the layout, then tick mark this checkbox. Similarly, if you want to hide text, icons, borders, you can tick mark the respective checkboxes. Now tick mark the show shadow checkbox to show a shadow in the layout. Furthermore, you can make the layout more interactive by checking other options, including rounded and center list. Once you, have, once you have explored the layout section, now it's time to pick a color theme. We have provided multiple themes which are highly engaging and provide a better user experience. You can pick a light theme or you can go with the current trend of the dark theme. You can select any of the themes from Deep Ocean, Go Green, Cheerful, Cherry, etc. in both light and dark mode. For now, let's select Deep Ocean. Just to inform you, you can go with our set theme or if you want, you can still customize it the way you want. Let's see how it's done. From here, you can customize the fonts and colors for the header, layout, and page. First, let's customize the fonts and colors for the header. If you want, you can include text or image in the navigation header, or you can disable the navigation header bar. If you choose the header image, then you have the option to disable the header image across the inner pages of your website, hide text, and also blur the image. For now, let's select the text option for the header. From here, you can change the header text, select, select the text font and text size. You can also change the background header, color, header text color, and header navigation icon color. Check this box to hide the search option from the header navigation. Now let's customize fonts and colors for the layout. Click the layout tab here to begin customizing. From here you can change the text font. Similarly, you can change the text size from the drop down, set background color, and text color. You can also set the website overlay color if you want and, and select the home image scale option from the drop down. Tick mark this checkbox to auto load the first page. Once you select this checkbox, you will see the navigation option, which lets you display either a back button or a menu button on the page. Next, click the page tab to customize the fonts and colors for your pages on the website. From here, you can select the text font, heading size, and content size. Also, you can change the text color and active color as per your needs. Please note, if you want to hide the banner across your website pages, then select this checkbox. Once you made the required changes, click Preview to see the reflection of your latest changes on your website. Once you review your website changes, click on Save and Continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.